As a janitor, I've cleaned thousands of toilets and I've picked up a few tips and tricks along the way. So in this video, I'm gonna share those tips with you so your toilet can be sparkling clean from top to bottom. So I like to start by dusting the toilet before I spray any cleaners down. Now the reason this works so well is because once you spray those cleaners down, if you didn't dust, all the hair, debris, anything that's on the porcelain kind of becomes a sticky mess and just clings to the surface and is really hard to remove as you're cleaning. If you've done this before, you already know, you're just kind of moving it around from one place to another. So what I like to use is just an old Swiffer head. Uh, you can also use some toilet paper. That's my wife's go-to or even some paper toweling. But the key is dry dust before you spray cleaners down and it makes it that much easier on the next steps. So the next tip is to always remove the toilet seat when you're doing a deep clean. Now most toilet seats come off, usually it's just a little hatch you lift up and then you can unscrew it and completely remove it from the toilet. Now in my house, I usually clean my toilet about two times a week, but I like to always remove the toilet seat at least once a month because this allows me to get to some of that grime that's underneath the toilet seat that I can't get to with regular cleans. Now the other nice thing about completely removing the toilet seat is it allows me to give it a good deep and thorough clean. There's a lot of nooks and crannies on these things and well, we all know it's, it's seen some things. So I like to do this actually in my bathtub. I kind of view this as just a workstation where it can get wet. I don't have to worry about spraying this down and then it running on the floor and getting all over the place. Now, every single time I talk about doing this in the bathtub, I get a ton of comments saying, I would never do that, that's disgusting, that's gross. Totally understand if you would like to use like a slop sink or even maybe like a bin, like a container, can put some more water in there, spray it down into the cleaner, that works too. I just like to use my bathtub because usually if I'm deep cleaning my toilet, I'm also gonna deep clean my shower, sanitize everything, so I kinda just do it all in one fell swoop. So once the entire toilet seat has been sprayed, I like to just let it sit like this and let the disinfectant do its thing. Now speaking of disinfectant, let's talk about my next step. Choose the right cleaner. Now I've used just about every bathroom and toilet cleaner on the market over the years. And the one that I always come back to and continue to use is this one here called Inside. Not only does this disinfect and sanitize your toilet, but it's also a deodorizer, which works really well if you have any of those kind of funky lingering odors on the toilet. Now when it comes to toilet bowl cleaners, I don't know, I always say I'm kind of boring, but I just like a good clinging bleach gel, usually Clorox or whatever the variety of brands there are that make something like this. The reason I like the gel over more of like the watery varieties of toilet bowl cleaners is I do feel like it really sticks to the inner bowl of the porcelain, just sitting there a little bit longer, does its thing and really cleans up nice. Now I like to start by always cleaning the bowl first. So I just grab the toilet bowl cleaner, apply that to the bowl, and then I'm gonna grab a handy dandy scrub brush or Johnny Mop and give the entire toilet a quick scrub. Now, depending on where you live, you might have very hard water, maybe it's a little rusty, or have really bad lime scale buildup. Now for that, instead of just using the traditional toilet bowl cleaner, I might suggest using either the Barkeeper's Friend toilet bowl cleaner or even CLR. These do a great job of cutting through that and helping break that down. Now, if you also kind of struggle with toilet rings in your toilet that you don't want to use these cleaners with, you can also try a pumice stone. These work great, obviously they're chemical free. However, you do have to be careful because you don't want to scratch the porcelain bowl. I always recommend using these wet and make sure the surface is wet with either water or lubricated maybe with a cleaner, and then you can gently scrub them away. You really don't have to push real hard on these, just kind of rub them over the toilet ring and let it do its job. So once the toilet bowl is nice and clean, I then come through with the inside and spray down the entire toilet. Now the key with this cleaner, like any disinfectant, is you do want to let it sit for a bit so I saturate the entire toilet and let it do its thing. Now a quick pro tip when it comes to cleaning the toilet and wiping it down is I always like to fold my towels in two. This gives me four different sides that I can clean with. Once one's dirty, I can flip it over, have another clean side and continue to wipe down the toilet. This is much better than just kind of scrunching the towel together like this and wiping it down because you really don't know what's touched what and the towel kind of just gets dirty that much faster. 
Now when it comes to wiping down the toilet, I always like to start at the top and just work my way down. Now every once in a while, I'll pop these little guys off too. Sometimes the grime will get stuck in there. Just give it a quick wipe down. Now a quick fail that I just realized as I was wiping the side is if you ever wear a hoodie like this, you should always take your little tassels and strings, put them in your shirt so they don't end up dropping in the toilet water. Now the next tip is to wipe down the surrounding area and floor of the toilet. Now you might not have to do this in every single household, kind of depends on your home, but if you have a house full of boys and males that maybe don't have great aim, I highly suggest doing this. What happens is the urine kind of splatters around and will leave a lingering odor of pee. Now, the nice thing is, is the inside, as I mentioned before, is also a deodorizer along with a cleaner. So I just spray this on the floor and the surrounding area, let it sit for a bit, wipe it up, and you should no longer have any of those stinky odors. So now that the toilet is clean and the seat is back on, the last tip is to always disinfect and dry your toilet brush. Now these can get kind of nasty, especially if you put them away wet, kind of mold and mildew will start to grow on them. So what I suggest is to take it here and grab your inside disinfectant, spray it down heavily, and then just grab the toilet seat rest it inside there and let it dry. And there you have it. Now you know how to clean up your toilet like a pro. Thanks so much for watching, and I want to give a huge shout out to the Clean Squad members over on Patreon. I really appreciate you supporting the channel. Now, if you want to get some more cleaning resources, or maybe even a downloadable PDF guide of today's clean, check the link in the description. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Who left this?